Now, on to step seven, flooring. So this wow. is uh, the tile that I had put in uh, about eight years ago. And with uh, upgrading, I decided I was going to keep the tile. Unlike that kitchen, this one is getting a brand new floor. And the homeowners decided to go with a very common choice, ceramic tile. Now with ceramic tile, you can run it in a straight line, always looks good. Or if you want to add just a little bit of interest, it can be turned on a 45. But get ready to pay a little bit more if you decide to go that route because you're going to be using more materials and the installer is going to charge you a little extra for all the additional cutting that's necessary for that. But you know, one of the most common emails and questions that I get is, can I use hardwood floors in my kitchen? Well, I have it in my kitchen and it works pretty nice because it flows into some adjacent rooms. It kind of ties everything together. But you do have to be careful for any potential leaks with dishwashers or under your sink or ice makers and make sure that no water gets to it. Also, what I found is it helps to put a little throw rug in the high traffic areas like in front of the sink or some of the more common walkways. Another alternative to get that look of wood but not put wood down is the laminate flooring, which is something that you're seeing a lot. Very do-it-yourself friendly, but make sure it is warranted for a high moisture use like bathrooms and kitchens. 